In this video, we are going to connect our Node.js application to MongoDB database and we are going to use cloud database so that we don't have to install MongoDB locally and everything will be managed in MongoDB cloud only. You don't have to pay any kind of money to get started with the MongoDB cloud atlas database. It's absolutely free. So let's get started. So just make sure you have Node.js installed. And another thing is you need to use VS Code. At least I am using VS Code. If you are not using VS Code and if you want to use something else, go ahead and use it. It's just text editor. And Node.js is mandatory. Try to install latest Node.js version. And another thing is you need to have mongodb.com account. Just go here and click on sign in or try free and you'll be able to create one account for yourself. Absolutely free of course then once it's created you are going to see some page like this where i can just click build a database and here i'll just select free because we like free right we are just testing out in region i'll select mumbai and you can select whichever the region which you are near to and once it's done we can click create here and it's going to take a while and uh, don't uh, do anything here just go ahead and go to database here and while it's being deployed it's going to take a while so we can create our node.js application if you already have node.js application you can use that particular application only here i'm going to create a folder named mongo node.js and uh, i'll just open this folder in the vs code so once it's open, I'll just do npm, npm init dash dash yes. So it created our packet.json. And another thing is I want to install npm i mongoose and express so that we can have one web server here. If you're using something else, that's absolutely fine. And another package we require is npm i minus d because it's dev dependency that is node mon once that's done we can go ahead and here we can create one file server.js and in this particular file we can create one basic express server const app is equal to require express and we can put one this particular thing so that express gets initialized and here we can just say app dot listen 3000 and log that's console log saying server started save it and we can create app dot get request slash here request response and rush dot send hello world so if we just uh, do this much and let me go to packet.json and uh, script uh, instead of this uh, i can create dev and here uh, erase uh, this particular thing uh, and here say node mon server save it uh, close this particular file uh, and here uh, if i just now say npm run dev if i just say that much uh, it will tell uh, that uh, server started and once it's done uh, we can go ahead and create new folder config and in here we can create new file named db.js in this particular page we'll be creating all the database connection and let me just see if it's created here yeah it's absolutely created and we need to have database access here so add new database user i'll just create one simple user db underscore user and password also i'll keep it db underscore user and uh, add user so if i just add this much things uh, that's not enough i have to go here and click network access uh, and add ip address uh, allow access from anywhere confirm this is just test database so no problem regarding it and here in here uh, i can go to database again uh, and click connect uh, and we are going to connect using uh, application and just copy out this particular thing and we can go ahead and create one variable named const mongo uri is equal to paste that particular link and here instead of password 
we can type whatever the password you have set i have set db underscore user as password and here in the end you can write whatever the db name you want to give i'll write my db node.js mongo so once it's done we can go ahead and require mongos here const mongos is equal to require mongos and once it's done we can go ahead and create one function connect db is equal to async and we are going to create one arrow function here and here whenever we are using async we might get some error that's why we have to put it in try catch block and if any error is there let me just log that error if any error is not there then let me just go ahead and connect to our database so const con is equal to mongoose dot connect but we need to make sure it's uh, awaiting it so that uh, if any delay is there it's handled by this particular error if it's not able to connect but uh, we can go ahead and uh, type here mongo uri so that uh, this particular mongo uri is uh, connected and uh, once it's connected we can just log that's console.log saying db connected and we can specify what kind of host we are connected to con dot connection dot host if we just write this much it's going to tell us is it properly connected to database or not if it gives any error maybe like username or password is wrong it's going to print the error here in the server we can go ahead and again require const connect db is equal to require dot slash config slash db and in this particular file we need to export this particular connect db function so module dot exports is equal to connect db we don't have to put any kind of brackets if you just go here and call this particular function and save it it's going to tell that it got connected yeah so yeah it's saying that db connected and it's giving us one uri which is mongodb.net that means database is connected and once it's connected we can go ahead and we can create models and use it however the way we want to use and here if i click on browse connections once you have created model and start to use it you are going to see all the collection and data related to that collection here and uh, that's all with the few lines of code we are able to connect to mongodb database without having to install it on our local system and uh, that's it for this video guys if you want to learn more about mongodb and node.js and how you can actually build one application using it here is one video here where i go over all the functionality of mongodb and connecting it we actually build one crud api so go ahead and watch it and uh, see you in the next video. Bye-bye.